Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, mm-hmm. talk to John and Camille, who are in the studio this morning. Right. And Camille, you're with the Harvest Regional Food Bank, which, of course, is a wonderful organization Absolutely. here in Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, we've got a big Stomp Out Hunger uh, campaign that's going to be going on. This is next weekend. Start off with John. John, what's John? going on with this thing? Uh, yes. Uh, the food drive will take place next weekend, May the 14th. Uh, May the 10th, we will have our kickoff, and uh, that's the day we will deliver bags. So we appreciate all the fine effort that uh, Texas County and the surrounding area gave us last year. We received about 20, 32,900 pounds. Wow. So, wow, that's a lot. That is. That's, that's fantastic. great. Fantastic. So, do you, so you take out bags, like grocery bag kind of bags? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. And, and you just kind of leave them in the mailbox, or, or how does that work? Yes, uh they will leave the bags next to the mailbox. Next to the mm-hmm. mailbox. Okay. Yes. All right. And then people are supposed to load them up with whatever they can. And well, not quite. No, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Well, just give us, give us details here because I want to find out. Okay. Uh, we are more wanting to have kin, kid-friendly foods where oh, okay. uh, you can stick something in the microwave and the children mm-hmm. are able to heat it up for themselves after school. Um Canned goods also okay. are welcome, but preferably can friendly food, kid friendly food, kid friendly okay. food, but non perishable at non the same perish- time yeah. too. Yes. Sometimes you know, like uh, sometimes they'll be like in a kind of a, uh, you know, like ramen noodles or something that is easy for a, a kid to put in the microwave, but yes. it's not. It doesn't have put to be refrigerated. Put a little water in it yeah. and stick it right. in the microwave, yeah. and, and okay. there you go. The meal stars are great. Yeah. So, uh, John, you're with the post office, obviously, because yes, uh, you're wearing the uh, the post office gear mm-hmm. here. How long have you been with the post office? I've been with the post office now for 30 years and oh, four wow. months. 30 years? Wow. When's the big retirement party? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 Got to think about Social Security. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's true. Well, very good. Well, Camille, uh, step right in and tell us uh, how long you've been doing this and, and uh, what do we need to mm-hmm. do? Well, I've been here with the food bank for about three years, be three mm-hmm. years in September, and we are just thrilled to once again be one of the benefiting charities of this uh, this food drive. We're one of five, and the others um, include the Texarkana Friendship Center, Salvation Army, Randy Sam's Outreach Center, mm-hmm. and Domestic Violence. So, um, you know, again, I, what I like to say is you can, this is the easiest way to help hunger. You don't even have to leave your house. I know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go into your kitchen and pick out some stuff or you know, next time you're at the grocery store, pick up a few extra cans of something. Exactly. Or... And of course, you know, we love the child friendly things. Um, but, you know, we've also got uh, families that are served by these other organizations, too. So really anything helps. You know, it's non perishable mm-hmm. can a, a meal starter, the the hamburger helpers, the things like that, that right. people can just um, really stick um, on their shelves and, and go back to really supplement their their uh, their pantry. This is awesome. a great and easy way to do it. Again, it's coming up on Saturday, May the 14th. Mm-hmm. Is that right? So they're going to drop off the bags, uh, put some stuff in the bags, and then leave them back next to uh, your mailbox. And the post office folks will come by and pick them up. They'll right? come pick them up. And then uh, we will spend the, the next several days at the food bank loading that up, bringing it over to the warehouse, and uh, dividing that up with mm-hmm. the charities. And it's just, a, it's just a fun time to see that all of that come in. We'll post pictures of, of the you know trucks just full of the, the mail bins of food. It's, mm-hmm. really, it's really fun. Do you all have a, a Facebook page or anything? Or? We do. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It's, uh, it's Harvest Texarkana. Okay. So they can just go on Facebook and look up Harvest Texarkana. We're there, and we'll be we'll be keeping everybody you can, posted. You can awesome. actually see the fruits of That's your cool. labor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and and also, them. United Way will also have a they have a Facebook page okay. as well of Greater Texarkana. So I know they'll be they've been posting things okay. as they go along. Mm-hmm. All right, great, very good. Awesome. So uh, we will have some more information about this on our website later mm-hmm. on today. We'll also have. Uh, uh, if all goes according to plan, this interview will be on there as well, just in case anybody missed anything. Uh, so where can they go to find out more right now? Uh, right now, they can either go, uh, the, probably the best place to be uh, would be on our website, on mm. United Way's website, United okay. Way of Greater Texarkana. Um, you can also go to um, our Facebook page, United Way's or Harvest Texarkana's and learn a little bit more. And, um, you know, just the, the it's just easy. I mean, really, the it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. You know, just take your sack and put some groceries in it. Awesome. There you go. Nothing to it. Camille, John. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so guys. much for coming in. Appreciate thank it very you much. Thank you for having us.